Hey, what is going on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in to Rules for Rebels. Friday is here. The weekend is here. I'm just getting ready to uh, head on out, going up to uh, Fox Lake to do some wakeboarding and stuff with my cousins today. Uh, but before I head it out, I wanted to get a quick video made. We're going to be talking about MerchResize.com. Uh, MerchResize.com is a completely free tool. And what it allows you to do is take your Amazon Merch t-shirt designs, which are sized 4,500 by 5,400, and with just a click or two to turn those into pop socket designs. Now, this program is completely free. Um, I don't know who created this thing. It's, it's Merch Resize by Greg. And I thought one thing he did that was really smart. I already signed up for his email list, but he's got a thing like, do you want to find out about other free tools? And you can put your email address in there. Um, and obviously it's, it's, I think the guy probably sells some kind of like merch courses or something like that, but really smart marketing idea to create a relatively simple tool like this that I imagine you could probably get somebody on Upwork to make for you for a couple hundred bucks and use that as an email collection tool because, you know, and they don't require you to give them your email to sign up for this. Um, but heck, like, I think this is useful. So why wouldn't I sign up for his other stuff? So I thought that was kind of a really smart marketing point. Uh, but that is besides the point. So what we're going to do here, we're going to either drag a file into here or click here. So I'm going to pause the video real quick so that I can select a t-shirt file that I made just for this video. Okay, so I have just selected a file, and this is actually kind of how it uh, how it comes out right here. So if we wanted to change the background color, for instance, we could change it to something. You know, I, I didn't really pick a great image for pop sockets here, but as you can see here, it says Rules for Rebels. Uh, and it's got the fists up, kind of like Rebels, Revolution, that kind of thing. Um, what's kind of cool is, okay, yeah, I kind of like it on gray. So what I can do here is click Download Image. And I don't know if you guys can see, uh, Rules for Rebel Pop Socket was created. Um, let's say I want to make the same design but use a couple other background colors. So we can go to like a yellow, yellowish color here. Go down here. Okay, we, we like how that looks. Um, and if you want, you can name your files, right? We could, we could say uh, Rebel Pop Socket Green. And again, just one click, downloaded the file. Um, so kind of the, the purpose of this or what you'd use it for, if any of you guys are like me and you have like folders on your computer full of t-shirt designs that you've made, and maybe you just got pop sockets rolled out to you. I made a video a couple days ago. Pop sockets got rolled out to tier 500. Uh, maybe pop sockets are just rolling out to you, and you're like, you know what? I want to take all these T-shirt designs I had and, and turn all these things into pop sockets. Um, well, you can just start plugging the files into here. Um, and I believe you can do a bulk file upload as well. So I mean, if you wanted to do like 10 at once, uh, actually, you know, let's take a look at that one second. Okay, so it does look like it will let you do a bulk upload. So, I mean, if you wanted to open a folder and just drop the entire folder into here and just kind of go down the list and, okay, that pop socket, that pop socket, yeah, you can do that as well. So, yeah, if, if you're somebody who has a lot of slots open, you just had pop sockets made available to you, and you're like, I want to take every T-shirt I've ever made and turn this thing into a pop socket, uh, very easy to go ahead and do that. So, Figure this tool might be useful for some of you guys who are merch sellers out there. I'm going to try to do some more videos like this, uh, bringing to you some, some useful tools that I find that help with Amazon Merch, that speed up processes. One thing I wanted to touch on really quickly, it seems like uh, uh, upload scripting is becoming very, very popular. Um, I know the guy who runs Merch Informer reached out to me the other week and offered me a, a access to his program for free. Um, and it basically helps you crank out designs faster. It basically auto fills in like your shirt color, uh, your title, your bullet points and your description. And it'll basically keep opening tabs and making new shirts. So if you're somebody who does variations, like if I wanted to make this rules for rebels design into like 20 different designs with different background colors, uh, what this tool would do, it would keep open 20 different browsers and auto fill in auto auto select the shirt colors for me. And then auto, also auto fill in the titles, bullet points, and descriptions. Uh, there's another one out there called Merch Lister Pro. Uh, I think there's two or three of these out there right now. They're becoming real popular. I'm hearing a lot of people saying that they're using them. I personally am staying away from this stuff for the time being. Technically speaking, Amazon um, says no scripting for uploads. Now, a lot of people kind of speculate, well, I, I think they don't want you using some kind of bot that uploads 500 shirts while you're sleeping. But like, 
a lot of these scripts on the market, all they're doing is auto-filling. You're actually the one having to click to, to submit designs. And, uh, you know, one second, I'm going to show you guys something. Okay, so, uh, you know, I will link to, in addition to linking to the uh, Merch Resize, I'm also going to link to this post as well if any of you guys are interested in scripting tools. Uh, this was the discussion on the Amazon Merch subreddit the other day. And basically, people are kind of debating whether scripting tools fall within the Amazon Merch TOS or, or Terms of Service. <clears throat> or whether these are a policy violation. So if you're somebody who's been thinking about using something like a Merch Lister Pro or some of these other uh, automation tools, um, and you want to know if it's within the rules, obviously Amazon hasn't given us a clear answer, uh, but people kind of do discuss it here. So if you want to kind of educate yourself on that topic, I will link to this as well. Uh, but yeah, Merch Resize, the tool that we're talking about today, uh, it's helped me crank out uh, about 200 pop sockets. Um, Actually, probably a little bit more, but yeah, it's helped me crank out about 200 pop sockets in very little time. Uh, it has been pretty useful, and uh, I'm always on the hunt for new tools, software, shortcuts, etc., to, to help me uh, kind of grow my Amazon merch business. So as I find more, I'll make some more videos. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video.